this is our onboard package aircon. The suction pressure becomes vacuum every time the system runs. So we're still here in Vancouver. We've just finished in Delta Port and now we're moving to Centrum. Four of our crews just celebrated their anniversary on board. And for today's job order is to check our onboard package aircon. Our package aircon in the main switchboard. This package aircon plays an important role in keeping the temperature inside the room in good range. Just like what I have said, every time the compressor runs, the suction pressure goes very low. The suction pressure switch activates, which stops the system from running. But before we go to the troubleshooting, let me give you a quick familiarization on the system. The system uses R404 and these are the two gauges. This is the compressor which considers as the heart of the refrigeration system. The dual pressure switch for low and high pressure. It has also water pressure switch because the system is using water cooled condenser. And this is the water cooled condenser. The expansion valve, evaporator fan motor, evaporator which is having a filter, the filter dryer, the solenoid valve. Shut off valve, side glass, and the electrical control panel. So now let's proceed to the troubleshooting. So as soon as the system runs, there is an icing before and after the expansion valve. And getting a low suction pressure, it means that something is blocked on the system. So I remove the solenoid coil to check if it is okay or not. Until this happens. So I've decided to change the filter dryer. During installation, make sure to follow the correct orientation and put the o-ring. So the first thing you need to do is to pump down the unit. You need to close the discharge service valve after the condenser. Then run the unit until the suction becomes completely vacuum. Then close the shut off valve after the filter dryer. Since the filter dryer is blocked, make sure to crack open first the screw because there is still pressure on the line. Good thing this package aircon was already modified, hence we don't need to do bracing. After replacing. 
replacement, do not tighten it completely as we need to purge the air on the line. Open the discharge service valve. Once you sense that it is already refrigerant that is coming out, then you can fully tighten the unit. And then you can now open the shut off valve. And then we can now run the unit and observe the pressures. Then check for the possible leak. So I charge a little bit of Freon to get the desired pressure. And that's the way on how to change the filter dryer. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe on this channel.